long time ago the life was more difficult as such i finished my school long time ago and i could not continue with my college my education my father was paying for me but he died so i had no one to help me the chicana desert it's it's a real harsh harsh place for women they have the most difficult life here of all. Men can have more than one wife. They're more of a possession than a wife. Without an education, uh, basically they can't even get a job. It's really a dismal place for them to be hopeless, let's say. If women don't have education, they will not support their families. The malnutrition will be high. I realized the life of a Turkana lady or a Turkana girl is in such danger. I pray God to help me. We have the water drilling, which is, opens the door for so many other things. We have an education program. We try and help mostly women. We'll put them through high school, but we'll also put them through college. It's, it's about hope that there's a future Last year, 2019, I graduated. I now have my degree. But uh, I realized there are many women undergoing the same problem I'm in. So if that is me, what of 100 Turkana women that was suffering? When you give education to a Turkana person, you are basically empowering him or her. Turkanas are generous by nature. So whatever they have, they give freely. We started the kitchen gardens, small farming. We produce vegetables. We can train them. We give them sessions. They will take their children to school. They will do good businesses. And that will lead to the development of the area. It's just incredible. Now she's out in the desert teaching how to do gardening and market her products. It's the ripple effect where, you know, all the families are benefit from one education. Due to my education, not only Florence has transformed, but have transformed 180 young women. It has really transformed them. Their lives has really changed.